Hello friends. Hi, how are we today? I hope we're all doing well. I am doing fantastic. I'm here this week uh, to plan for the week of March the 20th through the 26th. It was a very, 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 very eventful week. Um, I am using the Hello Spring kit uh, from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. And it's still available in her shop. I strongly encourage you to go check it out and pick it up. It is a wonderful kit and um, it's it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So um, strongly encourage you to pick it up and go check it out. Um, you guys have seen me plan so, so many times, countless times with these kits. So there isn't really any much new here. I wanted to do a scatter, um, because I think the last week I had done a full week, um, or sorry, a straight across week just because, um, and that week I didn't actually end up filming for you. That week had been a hard mental health week and, um, like not in real time, but like that actual week. So I didn't write much down. So the plans that I put in were the plans for that week, but they ended up being like fake plan, not really fake plans. Cause like there's stuff that I know that I do all the time, like laundry and stuff. Um, but it just wasn't like, it wasn't a full week. It was super decorative and I just didn't have it in me to like go over that week and deal with that. So um, yeah, I decided this, uh, week that I really didn't love the bottom washing that came with this kit. That doesn't really happen too often to me. Um, usually I love pretty much everything that Christy does. Um, but this time I was like, you know what? I am not into it. And it didn't matter because I ended up having the most beautiful Simply Gilded washi. Now I know on camera that this green does not look like it matches. Um, but it does. It does match. I promise you it matches this kit perfectly. There is a particular dark green. It's only a couple of times that it comes through the kit, but it does actually match and it looks much, much, much better in real life than it does on camera. In camera, for some reason, it's like very dark green, but simply Gilded Washi, I think, in my opinion, photographs weird. Let me know if anyone else has the same opinion about that because I have feelings. Um... So we start off just getting the washi down at the bottom and um, as you can see I just I'm just using uh, a washi card from my friend Lizzie Plans on Instagram. You guys should all go check her out. I believe this is from either PlannerCon or something previous, but I got them when she did a giveaway for five thousand subscribers on Instagram, I think she's closer to 8,000 now, like go her, maybe at the 7,500, I don't know, um, it's been a while, guys, <laughs> like, we won't even get into it, anyway, um, I love the silver, and I love the silver hollow, so it worked out really, really well, and then I added in, as always, my hockey stickers, just for the week, um, they were just Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, there's a couple of weeks like that, and they're just, those are super easy to get down, uh, it was kind of all over the place. I was trying to figure out the headers that I was going to use. I decided that I wanted to save the glitter headers um, for just my leftovers album. I don't know. I was having some trouble uh, with... Ugh. So this was a whole story, but you know how my cat gets up on my desk pretty much every single time we do a plan with me? Well, he had gotten up on my desk while I was doing an organize with me, but I had this kit out because I was batch filming, so I was doing the plan with me next. Well, don't you know this awful cat he's not awful it's just frustrating sometimes went ahead and um got onto my desk and knocked over my water which doesn't typically knock over so I was like really really mad about it and uh he knocked it all onto this kit so I saved most of the kit but um unfortunately especially on the functional page I found some of the boxes extremely hard to get up um, just because he had knocked over the water and really, like, compromised the stickiness of the boxes. Um, and I was just really frustrated because um, it doesn't, it's actually not showing up too badly on camera. But these beautiful floral boxes have some staining on them um, because of the water damage. But honestly, it's, it's my memory planner. Life goes on, so... Uh, I elected to use the pattern headers, uh, cause I didn't know when I'd use those again. And then the to-do headers as is my usual, this is how I plan. Um, and I love the artwork in this kit. Um, 
Christy oftentimes features this artwork in her full boxes on her monthly samplers, but then there isn't enough artwork to do a full kit out of, so she did it, uh, there was enough, I'm so sorry, so past my bedtime, and it's my kid's birthday, and I still have to make loot bags for the party tomorrow, the whole thing. Anyway, um, she oftentimes doesn't have enough of the digital artwork to make these, uh, to make these full kits, but she did for this one. And I am so eternally thankful because I just think that it looks really beautiful and it's like one of my favorite kits. Honestly, I'm looking at the completed page in front of me right now and it's just, it's so pretty. I love how it turned out and that weird sort of like tie dye with glitter pattern, um, Ended up, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but really because I added those headers in on top of the full boxes, um, it really tied in the date covers as well. And the whole thing just works so, so, so well together. I really like how it turned out. Um, I cannot wait to talk to you about this week in the day by day. I don't know why planning Alex is going so, so slowly. I struggled. Like I was very excited for this week and I'm so excited for how it turned out. And I was so excited for my plans to lay down them down. But like I struggled with this week. It was a struggle. And I don't know why. Um, because I was really excited. Like I'm on my roll with planning, so I don't know why this was such a struggle. Anyway, I uh got down my headers and then I think I put in my date covers here or other otherwise I just go, yeah, I got my date covers in and then I go into my sidebar. Um in my sidebar, I did add in a Murdoch's talk, uh, Murdoch talks currently reading. I should probably add that in. I haven't filled in my sidebar. I'm thinking about switching out my sidebar. I got a Garmin watch, um, which is kind of like a Fitbit or, um, an Apple watch. And I have been tracking my steps and I think I might want to put my steps in every day. Um, my current goal is set to 7,500 because the 10,000 goal is actually arbitrary. Um, but I've been surpassing that most days of the week now. And between today was not as big a day. Um, I took it off midday, but I was at 8,000 steps that were just under 9,000 steps. But like I've been averaging like 11 to 14,000 steps per day. So that's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. Now keep in mind, I'm a very short person. So I take like, short strides. Anyway, uh, I'm just filling in the days of the week here, um, the like actual dates of the week, and then I am starting it on my sidebar. Uh, as you know, I love, 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 love the, the this week script, um, or the this week like banner header. It's chunky. It's perfect. It takes up a lot of space. Um, and then I just added in two habit trackers this week. Um, Honestly, I kept track of this week on my phone and it was a nightmare and I am never doing that again. Um, it was good for like what I needed it to be at the time, but not having everything in my bullet journal in front of me, I had to like transpose everything from my phone to like little post-it notes because I film on my phone. And so like, I couldn't talk to you guys while I'm doing this voice voiceover if all of my notes are on the phone. So um, I felt like the spacing was really good here, so, and I can use both of those colors for the leftover habit trackers, although they do have some pretty significant water damage, so we'll have to see, but we are going to get into the day by day, and I just, I think this turned out so nicely, like, I'm just... Uh, I like looking at it. Even not filled in, it looks really pretty. I'm really excited. Um, so getting straight into the day by day, this was a really, really tough week. So on Monday, I did daycare drop off and I just used a Clever Gal Crafts bow for that. Um, and then as per usual, we went straight into our groceries. But this week, um, we needed to stock up on some Costco stuff. I had definitely forgotten how often with a baby, you have to buy wipes. So, um we end up going there more than I really had thought. So we did groceries and then we went to Costco and I used icons from the kits to mark those things. And then the Costco script from Magical Stickers Co. Uh, and then in the rest of the day, um, I used a Fox and Pip icon to note that my kiddo had a bath. Um, like my baby boy had a bath. I had a bath with him. It's just easier that way. And, um, 
Then I used two Coffee Monster Co. scripts on a uh, quarter box extender to note that there was a long, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, long, 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 long bedtime that night and hideous, hideous, hideous tantrums when my kiddo got home from daycare. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was at my wit's end. Um, as many of you recall, this was at the end of about six weeks of illness for my kid, but like at the end of three extremely bad weeks of illness and he had been out of school. I used another Fox and Pip icon to note that I watched Oak Island with my husband and then uh, an icon from the kit uh, and a YouTube binge sticker. I binged YouTube all night after bedtime. I just had no capacity to read. The next day, my kid had tantrums all morning, like all morning before drop off from the second he woke up to the second we dropped him off at daycare. It was awful. Uh, and so I took uh, a 6.5 kilometer walk uh, with my other kiddo. I should have used like my stroller icons for that, but whatever. I used Fink shoes from Fox and Cactus, which is really cute. Uh, and then because even though we went and did a full grocery shop and we went to Costco the day before, I had forgotten some things. So I ended up walking to Sobeys to grab a couple of things. They also have some specialty items. Um, uh, uh, particularly in the East Asian section, and I can't really find them. Like, I have a lot of South Asian food in my area, but not a lot of East Asian, so I just have to go and try and find it. Uh, I did a lot of decluttering on this day, but unfortunately my declutter sticker was just too big. I had too much to mark, um, so I ended up pulling in. It's, it's from um, the moving sheet from Fox and Pip, but I thought it worked really, really well, um, this tiny little box with the tape, just to note that we decluttered. Um, so that was good. Um, then I used a fox and cactus icon uh, on a scalloped box. I had a long call with my daycare about my son. And he was not doing well. He was really upset. He was crying. He was having a really hard time. It's not like him. Like, in the mornings when we have tantrums... Um, sometimes he'll cry, but like at daycare, he is happy and they were talking to me about all these things and they're like, you know, sometimes when they figure out, cause my son was about, my baby was about four months old at this point. Sometimes this is the time that they figure out that they're here to stay. And I'm like, yep. And they're like, okay, so do this. And I was like, okay, well I did it. And they're like, okay, we'll do this. And I'm like, okay, well I did it. And they're like, well, okay. And do this. And I'm like, okay, but you're the ones that say if he has a fever, even if it's only for like 10 hours or something, and he's totally better by the time he gets home from daycare, and then he's totally fine the next day that he's not allowed back for two days. Um, so you're telling me to keep up a routine of keeping him in daycare, and then um, you're the ones where he's home if he has a fever, and it's literally like 37.8 or 38 fever. It's not a high fever at all. Anyway, um, it was really upsetting. It was a really hard phone call. It was a really long phone call. It was 45 minutes. Um, and we were just trying to figure out what to do to make him happier. Uh, so I ended up having one-on-one -on -one time with him that night and I used a Fox and Pip icon for, or a Fox and Cat, uh, a Coffee Monsters Kolomodi icon for that. And then I used a custom, uh, just to note that my kiddo ended up having a poop. He was super constipated and that greatly improved his mood for a little bit. The next morning we had a much calmer morning. Again, it used a fox and not a fox, the Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to note that. And then I used a fox and pip icon to note that I changed our duvet. I had bought a new one a while ago, but I hadn't changed it. So I took this day to do that. Uh, and, and then I, um, called my mom and we had a really long discussion about my son as well. Uh, then I used the Fox and Pip icon to note that I had to go to shoppers, uh, to get all the constipation items for my son because like, that's just life. Um, and then I used another one of those shoes from Fox and Cactus. I took another really long walk and then I used an icon from Sweetie Sticker Co. to note that I set up the Jolly Jumper for my baby. Um, he really hated it at the beginning, but now he's like very much into it. He goes into it for about 20 minutes. I would say like, it's definitely only once a day, but he does that about four days a week and it makes him really, really happy. Um, and he's just not 
the same happy kid that my son was. So, uh, getting into the second half of the week, uh, we had a great drop off that morning for daycare. So I had thought that it was going to be a more promising day. Uh, so I felt calm enough to have a nap with my little baby when, um, we got home because again, four months sleep regression hit hard. Um, and then I filmed my 2023 April kit lineup. Uh, and then I edited three videos that day. I was on a roll. I feel like I've been a lot more consistent, a lot, um, better about my filming and editing, especially in the last two months. Um, so this was really nice. Um, and both of those film and edit scripts, as well as the icons are from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Uh, then I noted with another Coffee Monsters Co. tantrum emoji that my kid had a really, really, really bad day at daycare. He came home and he was so sad and he was so upset and it was just, heartbreaking uh and he just he just wanted to snuggle on the couch the entire night like he didn't want to do anything it was <sighs> it's hard to articulate if you are not a parent uh then I used a paper and milk maru to note that it was the last swim class um I think I meant to do that on Friday this the, the next three days are a bit disordered um so I then decided to keep my kid home from daycare I kept Owen home from daycare the next day I was like this is absolutely absurd he was so miserable let him have a mental health day so he came he stayed home with me and it didn't really help he tantrumed all morning it was really really difficult so my dad was like let me come out let me spend time with him so my dad came out in the afternoon and he came for a walk. We went for a nice long walk and then we also went for lunch, which was great. Um, or at least I made lunch and that was good. Um, and then, um, Owen, this is when he really started fighting his naps in earnest. So he did not have a nap at all. And it was really, really tough because that meant that my little guy didn't have a nap at all. And it was, yeah. I am, I've learned to balance it now, but for a while that was probably the trickiest part because my husband isn't at home. He works Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So when I'm home with the boys, I don't get that help. Uh, I used a Fox and Pip, uh, play date icon to note that another one of Owen's classmates had been sent home as well with a fever, but he, he was fine. He was totally fine. So they came over for a play date that afternoon. And then I just did a general tidy of the house, um, later that evening on Saturday, it was a better morning. And then because it was such a good morning, um, I ended up being able to play a lot with both of the boys at the same time, which I hadn't really done to that point. I mean, my little one was only four, four and a half months old at this point. So it was good. Uh, and then I just used a paper and milk icon. I called and FaceTime my mom. That's like one of my, my older kids favorite activities. Uh, and another no nap day there. There's a theme here. I don't know. I was trying to get everything nicely in here and getting spacing. It was pretty tricky. Um, so then, uh, it was a really wildly rainy day. Like it was very, very, very rainy. Uh, and so our friends, uh, came over a different set of friends came over for another play date that afternoon and they ended up staying for dinner and then staying for a really long time. So we had a, we had a lot of fun with them that day. Um, and I just used the same play date icon as before. And then, um, I used a Fox and Pip icon because I just always have laundry. There's never like a time where I could, oh yeah, let me just go another couple days without laundry. So that happened on Sunday. I had really forgotten to fill it in. Um, but I knew what we did. It was a really rough week. So I was pretty aware. Uh, so the first thing is that my kiddo pooped and again, much, much better mood than when he pooped. So awesome. Uh, then we had another FaceTime with my mom and my son watched the chairlifts on the FaceTime and he loves watching the chairlifts. He's so sad that they're taken down for summer. Um, then in the morning, uh, we spent a, quite a bit of time playing with the cat and it was just a really funny time. He was just being really cute and we had a ribbon and the cat was like obsessed with the ribbon. It was wonderful. So that was good. Uh, then, um, 
we did arts and crafts together, but there was more laundry to do. And then we finally ended our days watching the Cars movie together, which was really nice. And I'm getting like a little bit cheeky about my laundry. <laughs> Uh, so I just like, right. Oh good. More laundry. And I just, I think it's funny. Um, anyway, I love how this spread turned out. I think I zoomed out too much for it, but